Okay, Resetters, Dr. Mindy here, and you've asked, what fast, what food, what, what special secret can I do to help my immune, autoimmune condition? I am getting this over and over and over again. So I wanted to bring you some new science. There's some new information out there. I wanted to give you a formula in which you can start to follow different fasting principles, different eating principles, so that you can start to overcome your autoimmune condition. You, as you guys know with my channel here, I am all about empowerment. I'm all about teaching you principles to be able to heal yourself. And when it comes to autoimmunity, we are so, our society teaches us that we have no power. There is nothing further from the truth. You have so much power. You can tap into uh, a, a, an intelligence inside your body that wants to overcome your autoimmune condition. You just gotta know the strategy. So. If you're new to my channel, welcome, subscribe. I go live on Thursdays. I put two new videos out every week. And if you love this information, as always, please share it with the world. I, this channel is here to change lives. It is to get people out of suffering. And I'm so glad you found me. I'm so glad you're here. And as always, I hope this helps. Okay, you guys, you asked, so I am bringing you more information on autoimmune conditions and where fasting and diet variation fits into that. So just like all my videos, I really wanna make sure that I'm teaching you how to think this through so that you can really be your own doctor, you can empower yourself. So let me start off with this idea. What is at the root cause of all autoimmune conditions? And it's really hard for us, you know, it, it, in general, we are taught that each autoimmune condition is separate and requires separate medication. But when you're looking at the root cause of autoimmune conditions, you can see that there are two very, very common threads of imbalances that are going on in the body that will light up almost every autoimmune condition. So let me start off by telling you what those two causes are. First, if you are not aware of it, 70% of all autoimmune conditions are environmental. So it is due to an environmental toxin. So if you've been told that they're genetic, only 30% of autoimmune conditions are genetic. I will link the science in here so you can see it. 70% are due to a toxic load that has gotten so big, the immune system is now going after those toxins. Which leads me to the second root cause, which is what we call a suppression of T regulatory cells. You have T cells as part of your adaptive immune system. And in that army of T cells comes a regulatory cell. And the regulatory cell makes sure that your immune system doesn't become hyperactive. So when we're dealing with an immune system that's attacking joints, when we are dealing with an immune system that's attacking the thyroid, we need these T cells to be, these regulatory T cells to activate so that we don't get an overreaction. So when you come to addressing your autoimmune condition through lifestyle, you've got to address these two issues. How do you get more T regulatory cells so that you can calm the immune system down? And which environmental toxin and what are you gonna do to get those environmental toxins out of your body? So that's the first thing I want you to think about is the root cause. Second thing is that when we dive deeper, let's ask ourselves, well, where are these T regulatory cells? How do I get more of these T regulatory cells so that my immune system can be more balanced? I'm gonna just throw out there that we know the T regulatory cells are made or um, produced in the small and large intestine. So those of you that have been fasting with me for a long time, you, you probably already know which fast I'm gonna tell you is incredible for gut repair so we can get more of these regulatory cells happening. Third thing I want you to think about is, well, if these regulatory cells are so important, then what is suppressing these cells? 
And this is all the work we've been discussing here on this channel about the microbiome. We are living in a world right now where our soils are depleted, we've overdone antibiotics, and so we have no gut diversity, and we have ma people who are walking around with massive gut dysbiosis, which is an imbalance in the good bacteria in the gut. So I'm gonna show you some diets and fasting that are going to repair your gut and allow the T regulatory cells to, to thrive and to be made, you want more of them. How do we get more of those going? And then the fourth thing I want you to think about is what toxins are triggering them. And there's so many, I'm gonna do a whole separate video on it, but the general category of toxins are heavy metals, parabens, mold, those of you that live in a moldy house, pesticides, glyphosate, and phthalates, which you're finding in a lot of your beauty products, a lot of the plastics. So again, there's so much to talk about on the environmental triggers. I'm gonna do a, a whole separate video on it for you. Okay, so that's the root cause. Now that you understand the root cause, okay, how do we pick a diet? How do we pick a fast? Let's start with fasting. And those of you that have been following me for a while, you know that the longer you fast, the more you tap into this intelligence in the body to, to heal. Those of you that are new, go back to a couple of the ones I did recently say, uh, how, how do you decide how long you should fast? And I go through the different times and what happens to your body as you fast longer and longer. But if we want these T regulatory cells to thrive, we're going to need to tap into some of the longer fasts. So 24 hour fast reboots the whole intestinal stem cells. Phenomenal, we love that. So we need that internal environment inside your gut to be good to make more T regulatory cells. We also are seeing evidence in science that even intermittent fasting, so 13 to 15 hours will energize these T regulatory cells and then I'm a huge fan of the 17 hour fast because at 17 hours, you're gonna start to be able to detoxify some of the environmental toxins out of your cells, stimulating autophagy and apoptosis and key principles I've taught you guys here. So if you have an autoimmune condition, I love the 511 variation. Five days a week, you're doing intermittent fasting. One day a week, you're going to that 24 hour fast. And then one day a week, you, you don't fast. That's a typical 5-1-1 variation we teach a lot here. On those five days you're intermittent fast, you may go 17 hours to stimulate autophagy. Again, this is advanced fasting, so if you're new to my channel, go back and watch some of those other videos. But that is a really good strategy for somebody who has an autoimmune condition when it comes to their fasting. Now, diet. This is really interesting, and I know I'm gonna push some buttons here, but this is what the science is showing, is that the, one of the biggest benefits of the carnivore diet is that it will start to enhance these T regulatory cells. It re-energizes, it gets your body making more, it changes the gut microbiome so that your gut can make more. Of all the diets I've seen right now, where I stand on doing this video is that your best diet for autoimmune is carnivore. Should you do carnivore all the time? Nope, but it is if you're trying to get yourself out into a healing state with your autoimmune condition, then you definitely are gonna wanna do carnivore on a fairly regular basis. And these are the kind of things we're discussing in the academy, so if you need help figuring out how often you do carnivore, um, come on into our Reset Academy, let's connect on a Zoom call. We have groups of people in there with autoimmune conditions and we're working together to make sure they're finding the right rhythm for them. Okay, third thing I want you to think about is your microbiome. So if the T regulatory cells are in the gut, you're fasting so you can repair your microbiome, you're doing carnivore so that you can repair your microbiome. The only other thing I would add in is ion biome. So if you haven't done ion biome or you don't know about it, this is an incredible product for making sure that your gut bacteria are uh, rebooted, that, that internal mucosal lining inside your gut can thrive so that the, your T regulatory cells can thrive. Okay, so that's microbiome. And then the last thing I will tell you is that you're gonna need to avoid toxins. And this is such an important principle that I'm, like I said, I'm gonna do a whole separate video on it. But with toxins, the first step is look at your environment. 
What are you putting on your skin? Are there toxins in your food? Are you reading ingredients? What synthetic chemicals are you exposed to? Do you have mold in your house? Are you still drinking out of plastic bottles? And are things in your kitchen still very plastic centric? So, and then of course, heavy metals are one of the biggest contributors to that overreaction of your immune system with an autoimmune condition. So knowing what's in your water, making sure you're eating organic, all of this becomes really important. In fact, it's so important, I'm gonna do a whole nother video on it. But that gives you guys a framework. So give me feedback, let me know if that makes sense, but that gives you a framework in which you can operate from. You're diet wise, step into carnivore, fasting wise, play with 15 hours of fasting, 17 hours of fasting, 24 hours of fasting, really work on that fasting muscle. Keep playing with those principles. Okay, your microbiome, you can lean into some of the fermented foods. Um, you can get yourself on Ion Biome. We'll put a link in the notes here for you and then look at your toxic environment. And I kid you not, you guys, if you do those things, you will slowly unwind your autoimmune condition. You will address this root cause. You will be getting to the heart of why the autoimmune condition was triggered in the first place. It's not gonna happen overnight, but as you work the principles more and more, you'll start to see that your body heals more efficiently, more powerfully than ever before. I mean, the benefit of us fasting and teaching these principles across all of our platforms is that we watch these principles work with hundreds of thousands of people over and over and over again. And your body's not any different. You can go after this and you can heal it. So again, as always, give me feedback. Let me know if that helps. And uh, if you have a specific autoimmune condition, stay tuned. I will be going live on Thursdays and I answer those questions for people with specific questions. And if you love this, again, let's band together with this knowledge. Let's get this information out to the world so that we can get people out of suffering, out of immune compromise, out of a state of poor health and give you the power back. Your body is a miracle. It is designed to heal. You just have never been taught what you can do to tap into it. So you are not at the mercy of your diagnosis. There are things you can do to step into a whole new level of health. As always, I hope that helps and I'll see you on the Q&A on Thursdays.